Our next speaker is a wildly successful entrepreneur and expert in remote hiring and e-commerce. He is the co-founder of FreeUp, which he started in 2015 with an initial investment of 5,000 US dollars and scaled up into a 12 million per year revenue business. It was acquired in 2019 and today Nathan is a co-founder of an outsource of Outsource School, a company working to educate entrepreneurs on how to effectively hire and scale virtual assistants through in-depth courses. This person is also the, uh, the guest of around 300 podcasts and a social media per, uh, personality and this person was able to, I was able to really reach him directly with no intermediary. <laughs> That's why I really like this person. For entrepreneurs, we're really excited to have our, as our next speaker, Nathan Hirsch. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. So, uh, what 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 makes Nathan busy right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I just sold my last company, so there was a, a transition period there. I mean, we really like the new owners. We love the team at, at FreeUp. We wanted to put them up to in position to succeed. So, we spent a good 90 days helping with the transition, answering their questions, making sure that they were in good shape. And then we, we kind of transitioned to the owner of FreeUp to a client of FreeUp. I'm now a client, which is a little bit weird, but I'm hiring <laughs> my own VAs off of that platform and working on my new venture, Outsource School. And I think with COVID-19, obviously it's not the most ideal time to start a business. I think it's probably not the most ideal time to acquire a business, but at the same time, I think both free up and outsource school are in good position after this as the world moves more and more remote. So, I mean, right now we kind of just have our head down working on this software that we're building an SOP building software to make it easy for virtual assistants and clients and we're and education. We, we launched our cracking the VA code course, which teaches people how to, interview, onboard, train, and manage VAs. We launched the podcast outreach formula, which teaches people how to get on more podcasts with the virtual assistant doing research. And we're launching three more courses on lead generation, bookkeeping, and how to be a great VA. And so we're kind of just taking this time to build this business from the ground up and, and have our head down putting out content and new courses and new software. And once this passes by, we want to just make sure that we prepared and we're in as good position as possible going forward. What's special about Outsource School is that the the co-founder, Nathan personally, is the head of FreeUp, which is one of the largest and the, perhaps the biggest and wildly successful uh, virtual assistant marketplace. What makes it special, Nathan? Share it to our audience. Yeah, FreeUp's great. And I strongly recommend FreeUp to, to anyone listening, even though I, I don't own it anymore. Um, I mean, they get thousands of applicants every week, VAs, freelancers, agencies from all over the world top 1% get on the platform. It's free to sign up, no monthly fees. You put in a request, they fill it quickly. On the back end, 24 seven support in case you have even the smallest issue and a no turnover guarantee. If someone quits, they cover replacement costs and get you a new person right away. So that's really what FreeUp's all about. The pre-vetting, the speed, the, the customer service and the protection. How many businesses are you involved right now, Nathan? It's funny. So I, I tend to be someone who focuses on one business at a time. Like I ran my Amazon business, just that for seven years. I, I ran free up just that for four years. And, and right now I'm just focused on outsource school. Wow. You're a very focused person. Now, how, how is your business affected with COVID-19? It's tough to say. I mean, we, we don't really have a baseline. We actually launched our first course that first week of COVID-19 where everyone went, got, uh, went on lockdown. So that was obviously not the best timing, but we still did pretty well. I mean, we sold 100 plus courses um, in that first week, which I feel like is not too bad considering yeah. all the things um, there. So, I mean, we're, we're much more interested in the long-term game. All of our courses are evergreen. We're, we're not doing these like big launches and then close it and then big launch. That's not really our personality or how we want to go about business in general. So, I mean, it's tough to say. I mean, we're much more focused on building good courses that help people. And once this craziness passes by, we think we're going to be in really good shape. Are we blowing it up from day one? Like, like we'd obviously want to, probably not. And I think Corona has a big effect in that. I think businesses are hesitant to spend money, but it, it's to be expected. And so far, everything else is good going pretty much as planned. As an expert in remote work and in e-commerce, how do you think is COVID-19 changing the way we're doing business right now? 
Yeah, I mean, I think the world was going more remote before all this, and, and COVID nineteen just kind of sped up the process. So I think right now, if you're an entrepreneur, you kind of have a few options. You either kind of fight the changes and try to continue doing business as you were before. You give up and you just do everything yourself, or you learn how to hire VAs and learn how to manage remote teams. And those mm -hmm. are really your options. And I would encourage you to to try number three. I mean, there's no better time right now to put your head down and learn a new skill and, and make tweaks and adjust your business. And that's kind of the changes I think every, everyone's making. I mean, even my gym that I love, they're a local gym down the street. They're doing live streaming. They're adjusting. They're, I'm paying a monthly fee to, to get access to their awesome live stream. So I think it's a time of adjustments. It's a time of pivoting and it's a time of learning how to work with people remotely. There are a lot of uh, business owners who are really affected by COVID-19 and they are brick and mortar businesses. In your own opinion, and as also as a person who has been working with lots of entrepreneurs, how do you think, or what's your suggested plan of action for them to really survive and strive this pandemic? Yeah, I mean, I, I would focus on what I consider like an organic marketing playbook, which is setting up an affiliate program and promoting your affiliate program, networking with people. This is a great time to network with other entrepreneurs. It's something I do every single day. I'm very passionate about it. I think that's how you and I connected um, yeah. about yeah. going on podcasts, which is something like this, where you get in front of other people's audience, you get to show your expertise, you get to help people, add value to people, finding partnerships. So other people in the same space that have the same type of customer, but don't do the same thing that you do and do content swaps, go on their podcast, do a guest blog article, do an email blast, post on social media, do a YouTube channel together. So form those partnerships, work, find micro influencers. I mean, everyone's sitting at home right now. It's not like people are traveling. So now is a great time to reach out to the influential people in your space and try to form relationships with them and hopefully get them to promote your product. And lastly is content. Everyone's online, everyone's on Facebook, everyone's got nothing to do but be on their computer right now. Write those blog articles you've been putting off. Create your social media posts for the next month. And I think if you do that combination of affiliate program, partnerships, podcasts, content, micro-influencers, um, all of that put together, that's what you should be focused on right now along with the projects that are need to get done in your business. There are also business owners who are really stuck in their homes. What do you think are the uh, things that they should do to be more productive? Yeah, I mean, I work from home, so I, I've kind of gotten into <laughs> a, a little bit of a routine. I mean, my biggest tip is find out what times in the day you're most productive in doing different things. So for me, for example, 7 to 9 a.m. is usually my most productive time in the day. That's when I do my most important project on any given day. Then from 9 to 10 a.m., that's when I work out. I, that's when I get the best workouts in the morning after I've already accomplished something. From 10 to 11, I'm wrapping up any projects. Then I do a podcast or two mid-afternoon. I don't like doing podcasts first thing in the morning. I know we're doing one now, but that's because you're in a different time zone. Um, and I don't like doing them later in the day because I'm just tired by the end of the day. So middle of the day is my perfect time for podcasts. And then the rest of my day is phone calls, networking calls, partnership calls, um, it could be with my business partners, whatever it is. So that's how I personally structure my day, but you might be different and people watching might be different. So figure out what day, what times of each day you're most productive and get in routine where you're doing those things at the right time each day. So again, can you highlight what, what is more or less the routine that Nathan Hirsch does to be wildly effective every day? Yeah, 7 to 9 a.m. is most important project. 9 to 10 a.m. is gym. 10 to 11 a.m. is wrapping up any, maybe my secondary or third projects. Mm -hmm. Then a podcast in the afternoon, lunch break, all of that. And then phone calls are in the second half of the day from 1 to 3 o'clock. You are, you are one of those uh, people that we really look up because you're really able to build a business straight from home. What makes, what makes it very effective for you? Do you have any blueprint or a playbook that you follow in launching every business? Yeah, I mean, really the playbook is what I just went over, the, the combination of networking, content, partnerships, podcasts, micro-influencers. I mean, that, that's really the, the blueprint that we use to grow free up organically from 5,000 to 12 million. It's the same blueprint we're going with for Outsource School. And I think it works no matter what business you're in, what industry you're in. 
I mean, there's other things like I hire people, I delegate, I, I surround myself with people like my business partner who mm -hmm. have the same values as me, but have a completely different skill set. So I've never built a WordPress site in my life. But if you go to outsourceschool.com, it looks pretty good because he's an awesome WordPress builder and he's oh. handling all of that. So I, that's kind of my, my bread and butter is focus on the organic stuff, especially right now, and surround yourself with people that do all the things that you're not good at. Wow. In a very short span of time, we really have, were able to lump up everything that people need to know about uh, COVID-19 and how they can be more productive this time. Uh, can, can we encourage, uh, can you invite people to visit uh, Outer School? Yeah, so I, I'm very easy to contact online. Feel free to reach out, Nathan Hirsch on Facebook or LinkedIn, um, the real Nate Hirsch on Instagram or Twitter. Go to outsourceschool.com. We have a great VA calculator. If you go to outsourceschool.com slash VA calculator, it'll help you figure out how many VAs you can afford right now. And we're always putting out lots of great content, software, courses, and hopefully we can help you get better and better at working and hiring remotely. By the way, uh, below this video, we will put all of the information about Nathan in the outdoor school so that you can really contact him directly. And thank you very much, Nathan, for, for the time you, you spent with us. Last words to all of the local and small businesses out there who's listening to you right now. Stay positive. We're, we're going to get through this together. It's tough. It should be temporary. Stay positive. Focus on what you can control. Put your head down. Make the most of this time. Take the courses that you've been putting off. Network build partnerships, work on those projects, and put yourself in good position to succeed once all this is over. Thank you, Nathan. And I hope your insightful ideas and actionable tips can really move our listeners who are local and small businesses to through these hard times. Thank Virtual you. Virtual entrepreneurs, live the great life.